Okay, everybody, Stephen Key here, and today I'm going to talk about one of my biggest failures. Huh. Now, everybody's probably thinking, you know, I've got a smile on my face. Steve, how can you go through this process of licensing ideas, and some ideas make it, and some ideas don't, but you're still a pretty darn happy guy? Well, I realized early on it's, it was going to be a numbers game, that some of my ideas were going to be hopefully successful and there's going to be many ideas that weren't uh, that I just are not going to make it so in this particular story I don't think I've shared with anybody so this is a brand new one so listen up okay I was selling these guitar picks James put a picture of these lenticular guitar picks um, called hot picks and I had licensed um, the Disney brand and characters to put on guitar picks and we did a fantastic job. We were in tens of thousands of stores and everything was really going great. And by chance, I was in a meeting at Disney and I brought one of my old technologies, which was a spin label, which I hadn't really done anything for a couple of years. But my partner at the time, Rob Stefani, said, Steve, why don't you bring that spin label to this meeting? I'm like, come on, Rob. I've already had a heyday with this product. It's already done well. But anyway, <clears throat> I brought a sample and... The guy that was in the meeting, the head guy, said, you know, Steve, that rotating label, and I'm going to show you a sample of it in a minute, it's just fantastic. You see, at Disney, we are storytellers, and your technology on that label tells stories. So we think we have a project. I mean, in the meeting, he's telling me that, and I'm falling out of my chair. He said, look, we have this juice that we're going to be launching and why don't we put your rotating label on this juice container and see what happens. I'm like, really? I think this is the greatest thing ever. So sure enough, fast forward, we start working out the details and they, they bring in one of their licensees. It was a very big company at the time that was doing some other projects for them. And they said, look, we're going to come up with a brand new product. We're going to call it Twist and Chill. And I'm going to show you quite a few samples in, in just a minute. They're going to call it Twist and Chill because you're going, to, you're going to spin the label. It's going to do some really fun stuff. And we'll show that. And it's going to be juice for kids. Fantastic. And I went, you know, I'm meeting with Disney regularly. And I've told this story one time. Where I'm in this meeting with their head designers at Disney. And the product manager's there, and they're saying, look, we want a logo, we want all the artwork, we're going to put it on cars and a bunch of other Disney brands for this new juice. We're going to, we're going to actually, which is really cool, we're going to give its own new container. We're going to design the container to put logos on it, um, like this one has uh, the Mickey Mouse logo built into the plastic. Um, we're going to do all this work, all this creative work, and we're really excited about this product and a couple different sizes and all these different flavors of juices. I'm really beside myself. So I meet with their licensee. It's a big beverage company back in, I think it was Philadelphia. And sure enough, they were excited about it too. <clears throat> and they, they had to buy a new machine. Um, so they bought a brand new machine. It would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars with all the tooling of the special containers, with the branding, with the logos, you're probably talking about a million dollars that was spent to launch this product called Twist and Chill. And I'm excited about it. To tell you the truth, I finally get, I have a product on Disney with my rotating label. Here's a six pack here. James is gonna show you some other visuals. I'm beside myself, this is fantastic. And I'm realizing there's a lot of money being spent here. Um, not only from a design standpoint, I was part of that design team, but meeting with Disney, all the things they did to launch this beverage, I would say about a million dollars. And sure enough, the machine went in there. I was, I was there with the production run. Everything's running smoothly. Things are fantastic. It's going to launch. And sure enough, it does. And it launches in all these grocery stores. And the date was, I believe, 2008. Ah, 2008. Talk about bad timing. Sure enough, that's when we had the economy was going down. People are very, uh, very frugal with how they're spending. And this particular project had a high concentrate of juice. And by doing that, 
it, it was the price point was expensive. And when you put the branding of Disney royalty, my royalty, um, all the tooling, the graphics, new machine, you put all that together, the price of this product was too high for that particular time and that particular category. So the price point just did not work. It was just timing. So sure enough, it failed. There you go, million dollar failure. Everybody worked on it for a year. Everybody's excited. Not only does it get licensed, I get the big brands, big companies, full production, new equipment, everything is fantastic. It gets on the store shelf and it doesn't sell. Huh. Heartbreaker. And what did I learn from that? And that's why I think it's important for me to share some of these terrible stories, but they're not really terrible stories. Because if, if you're in this game long enough of licensing ideas, you're going to have some ideas that do well and some that don't do very well. And you have to be somewhat flexible. You have to realize it's a numbers game and you never know what's going to work. And sometimes it's timing and sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. But I wanted to share that with you. I kept all the, the product you see here. I'm still proud of it. It's still a great idea. It was a wonderful journey. Um, did I collect any royalties? No. Did the company that manufactured, bought the equipment, did all the tooling, did they end up, you know, happy? No. Did Disney, was Disney happy? No, we were, none of us were happy, but that's a business. You see, you're in the game of business. And so some things are going to work out well and some things are not. So this is Stephen Key. I've never shared that story on one of my videos. You're the first to see it. Keep on watching these videos. I'm going to share everything that I know about how you can license your own ideas to those companies and create the lifestyle you're looking for. My voice, I'm losing it. This is Stephen Key. Thanks for watching. There's a great idea in each of us. But it's truly magical to see it come to life. Sharing your creativity with the world has never been easier. We can help.